Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for tuning in. In today's video, we're gonna be installing the Billet Works short shifter kit for the VBWX. I've got my R32 GTR out of the garage so we can pull in the WX and let's unbox the shifter kit and let's take a look at it. If you missed the last shifter install I did, I installed the STI shifter and it's a lot better over the OEM shifter, but it still makes, makes you want more. Like the, the shifter throw wasn't that much shorter. The shift lever sits up high, so I'm going to compare in today's video the stock shifter versus the F STI shifter and compare it to the billet works. So let's get this thing unboxed. So pretty cool initially just out of the box you get all these nice stickers in there, which would be pretty cool if you want to slap one up on your car. So let's uh, open it up. This is the... Uh, shifter that I decided to go with. So this is their billet weighted shifter and it's super heavy, very nice quality, has leather on it just like the OEM so it's going to have a nice premium feel to it. And I went with a matte black finish so it's going to have a nice clean look and comes with all the different accessories in the box for attachment. Looking at all the quality of this stuff, this is all top-notch material. Super very, super high quality build quality. Looks just like factory, if not better. And look at this, uh, this big heavy piece. This is a really nice piece. This is a uh, stainless steel and the machine work is just flawless on it. So yeah, super excited to get this installed. Looking at the, uh, Shifter stop. This is nice CNC machined aluminum. Comes with the hardware and everything you need to install it. And this is your looks like a brass a brass uh, shifter bushing. So I'm gonna make this a two video series. What I'm gonna do in the first video is I have the factory shifter housing and everything. So we're gonna fully disassemble all this stuff, get the billet works short shifter kit installed with the new shift knob. We'll put that in the car, we'll take it for a drive afterwards, and we'll compare that against the factory Subaru shifter and the STI short shifter. And then what we'll do on the next video is we'll take it a step further. So this comes with a, this is like their shifter stop and their solid bushing kit. And we'll also install the shifter plate, which will give us a shorter throw and a more refined feel. So I'll do an install on this later, and then we can kind of do a good comparison on that so you guys can kind of see all the different stages of what you can expect. So after installing the STI shifter on my car, I was a little disappointed with it. It wasn't that much better than the OEM one. So I did a little bit of research, came across Billet Works and reached out to them, asked them if they'd be interested in partnering with my YouTube channel so I could do a full install review. They said yes, and they got on board with the project. Thank you so much to the team over at Billet Works for putting your trust in me and sending me this product to review for the Subaru community. Well, let's go ahead and get underway. Let's disassemble the factory shifter housing and then we'll pull out the STI shifter and swap them out take the car for a test drive so nice and then they put a full instructions manual QR code for you so you guys are just going to go ahead and remove all the fastening hardware that holds the shifter lever into the bracket assembly and then we'll pull it up and out and get ready to install everything in the reverse order So that's pretty simple guys. Here's a little bit closer look for you. This just all pops up and out. It takes about two minutes to disassemble, but initially looking at the STI shifter versus the billet works, you can immediately see that this is gonna be shorter, which is cool because it's gonna sit inside the cockpit when you're looking in the car. 
this is the STI shifter and it sits up pretty high like it's pretty much flush when you look at it with the uh, bottom of that uh, LCD screen so I'm excited the billet works one is going to sit down a little bit shorter which is going to also help improve your shifter throw having a shorter lever in there well let's keep disassembling some stuff guys we got to go ahead and take off this little rubber um, stopper we got to slide this stuff up apart and then we can uh, we'll have to disassemble this off of here as well to slip it in and then we can put it all back together and then reassemble it drop it in the car put you guys up on a time lapse let's get this done real quick it's pretty self-explanatory i want to really get inside the car driving it to give you guys a good review you guys are going to want to use a punch to pop this pin out right here personally i just ended up using a nail popped right out you have to remove two small allen bolts to get this top adapter off. You're going to go ahead and use a set of snap ring pliers to remove the circlip. If you do not have some, you will need it to do this job. I'll put a link in the description down below for all the tools I used in this video. You got one more allen bolt here and then you can disassemble everything off of the shifter. We're just going to be transferring over the lithium grease from the old shifter onto the new one and then we'll re and assembly. So I'm using a set of vice grips to get the plastic bushing off. I put tape over them so it doesn't mar the bushing and it's not clamped on there. It's just allowing me leverage to pry it off. Make sure before you guys reassemble, you have this little washer nut that pretty much always falls out during disassembly. Make sure you put that in, otherwise you'll have to take everything back apart. And I'm gonna try to keep this short and sweet for you guys. I'm just gonna assemble it. Everything is gonna go back in the exact reverse order as disassembly. And then finally put this thing in the car and get it on the road because that's what this video is about is the driving experience so you guys stay with me i will have a ton of road test footage and you guys will enjoy it so i thought the install on that was pretty simple it's a little bit time consuming because you're doing with so many little parts but everything went together incredibly well fitment everything looks fantastic definitely an oem plus look and i'm really glad i went with the matte finish on this because it's going to look really clean in the car they do have a bunch of different colors you can choose i'll throw kind of their website up and show you a couple different selections for the shifter as well as the shift knob too they have a bunch of different colors that you can do with or without leather and kind of whatever color design that you choose so i'll kind of overlay that for you guys take a quick break to come inside I'm gonna make dinner for my family tonight I'm making one of the favorite things I like to make I call it Asian delight so it's uh, just a little bit of ground beef I use Yoshida's teriyaki sauce with a little bit of seasoning like some garlic Traeger seasoning buttery steakhouse seasoning I like the taste of that and then I'm steaming some rice in the back and then I'm gonna make some green beans to go with it pretty filling easy meal and I can pack a bunch of leftovers for lunch Starving. Ready to eat? Yeah. My install order is different because I had my OEM shifter because I already had the STI shifter in. But let's go ahead, let's hop inside. We'll disassemble all this in and then throw the other one in. Get this install finished up. All right, we're going to remove a few things inside. You're just going to reach underneath here. This will pull up and out. This will also pull up and out. You want to twist your shift knob on. Just pull your shifter boot up and around over the shifter. And this center console will just pop up and out. Okay, so we're going to remove these bolts up to front here. So you got one there, one there, and one in the back on each side. There's also the electrical plug that needs to come out. There's also two screws here that need to be removed. They're just uh, Phillips. So that's the last thing holding this on up top. And then we got to go 
underneath. So we got all the screws removed there and all the bolts holding it on all the way around. Last thing is that electrical connector. Pretty simple process so far. This whole inside part took me about three minutes. So let's hop underneath. All right, so now that we've got our dust shield kind of removed out of the way, what you guys are looking for are these boat bolts up top here. So we're gonna get those removed, two on each side. Go. Okay, now you can see we just have those two little pieces of shifter linkage that need to be pulled. That clip, those two back pieces, um, slide that off. As you can see, that just pulls out in a way, and then the little black one, just pull it straight back. It'll pop right off. There you go. Just four nuts that need to be removed from the bottom of the shifter linkage assembly and they are right there so you got two there and then you got two on the other side right there so let's pop those out so pretty easy underneath that was about 10 minutes of work for me let's hop back in now this can just literally pull right up out there we have it let's go set this next to the bill it works here julia hmm. hold up by the handle so this is pretty crazy guys i've got the this is the actual sti short shifter you can tell because it's got like that kink in the center of it and it's you know a little bit you know shorter is what sti claims over the oem shifter but there is no comparison look at this thing look how much shorter this is several inches shorter so this is the OEM uh, housing. This is the full STI shifter housing, which is exactly the same to me. I don't see any difference on any of this stuff. So the only difference is just the shift lever itself. And it's too bad Subaru just wouldn't sell you that part rather than selling you the whole assembly at 300 bucks. It's like at least a couple inches. It's gonna be so awesome. I can't wait to get this in the car. So I decided to go ahead and remove the STI lower support bracket just because I'm going to be selling it and I want the person to believe that I am selling a true authentic STI piece because this one does not say STI on it. But looking at them, they are exactly the same. There is no difference between them at all. All the way around, everything lines up. I even put each shifter on them and they both you know, line up perfectly. So. I'm going to go ahead and get this one put back on and I'll box this one up that says STI. Now that I have them sitting on the factory under piece, you can really see the difference in height. And I mean, you're basically cutting more than that whole top off. So you're about an inch and a half shorter overall. And then I mean, look at the difference in that shift throw. It's gonna be awesome. Here's a good look at everything guys everything's fastened up but look how short that shifter is i can't wait to finish reassembling everything up top got my electrical plugs back on all my four bolts in and the two screws in the back first second third fourth fifth sixth and reverse everything's feeling good let's go back underneath i'm going to put the rear rear cover plate on or the rear under plate and then we can come back up top and we are done. Thanks, camera girl. <laughs> so you guys can see underplate is on. So 
So you're gonna go ahead and twist your nut on like that. And then you have your adjuster on the top. You might have to play with these a few times. And then put your shift knob on. Once you get them kind of in place, you can lock them down. Go ahead, Julia, tighten it down. I want to get you guys a good comparison from that first to second compared to the STI and the OEM. So let's just compare the shift throw from first to second. And I'll put the video of the stock one up there. No comparison. This is this is so short and awesome. And then let's do a quick look. So let's put it in neutral. You guys remember how the OEM one was way up here? This sits so much lower. Look at the shifter boot. It just looks so much more recessed like it should. But uh, anyway, enough talking. Let's get the car off the lift. Let's take it out and let's go for a test drive. Right, Julia? Yes. Am I gonna... So that's the OEM shift knob, guys. Just to kind of give you a comparison of what it would look like if you guys want to go with the OEM setup. But let's put the billet works on because it looks so much better and it's a little bit bigger and it's got the weighted heavy feel i think it's gonna help this thing feel notchy as you slip between gears Julia, yeah. tell me the difference between the weight of this one which is the factory one versus the billet works one this one's lighter and this one's heavier towards the driver which helps you reach into fifth gear which is nice but look how short the shift throws are and this isn't even with the shifter bushing or the like shifter adapter that's gonna even shorten the shift throws even more if you're considering like the STI shifter versus this and you're looking at like spending a little money to get your car more sporty hands down do not buy the STI shifter this is worth a little extra work to install it but look at the shifts, guys. It is freaking unreal. Thank you so much to Billet Works. This thing is awesome. And it feels so notchy through the gears. Like you can feel it slide into each one as it pops into like those gates. It feels like the linkage is connected directly to the gearbox. It gives it kind of like that notchy, stiff feeling, even though this is still just run off a cable driven system. I'll have a link in the description down below for this exact Billetworks short shifter kit as well as a link to Billetworks Instagram. Make sure you guys give them a follow so you can see what new products they have released. a little bit more pressure and more force to push it through the gears. So good. And one thing that I like too is a lot of times when I'm driving I usually let my hand just kind of sit on the e-brake because there's really not a good armrest in the car. And I like how short the proximity of this is to just get to the shift shifter. It's just right there. Like you can easily reach over to it versus before you had to kind of reach up and on top of it. This to me works 
actually functional for my driving. so much to billet works i appreciate you guys sending me this shifter kit it freaking feels fantastic it's short it's notchy it's uh rigid like in gear when you're in third or fourth fifth when you try to wiggle it it's, it stays locked in position and it feels awesome it gives that car that extra sporty feel that it was missing i hope you found today's video helpful if you are considering an sti short shifter or a billet works short shifter versus the OEM, out of all three hands down, billet works is the way to go. But you guys, leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you thought of the video. Hit the thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe if you like this type of content. And I will have a ton more stuff coming on the way. We have all these extra boxes up top from Parent. I've got a oil or separator I'm gonna install. I've got the Parent oil cooler that's gonna be installed. We also have a set of big boy STI brakes from a 2019 STI, six piston in front, two piston in the rear. I've got a set of custom rotors being made right now. I should have those in the next two weeks. So once I get those, I've got to still order the brake lines. I'll get those installed. So you guys stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. And if you made it to, or if you guys like the uh, family stuff in the kitchen, leave me a hashtag family. I'll throw a little bit of uh, some family stuff in here and there if you guys like it. If not, I'll leave that stuff out. Trying to keep my garage clean. Look at all these shelves. Shelves, shelves, shelves. I'm so excited to watch this. This is going to be the perfect way to close out today's video. I love Star Wars. And I'm sure you guys, a lot of you guys probably do too. You guys leave me a hashtag family if you guys like me sharing a little bit of what type of TV shows I like to watch as well as having like family dinners and stuff like that. And thanks for all your help, right Julia? Mm -hmm. We'll see you guys on the next video.